On the first day of our kindergarten clown project, we're going to be doing a lot of different pattern making. So you're going to get to pick what color hat and bow tie you would like from blue, pink, orange, and yellow. I'm going to start with blue. And you're going to have a small piece of paper and a big piece of paper at your table spots. We are going to start by stamping on this big white sheet of paper. So I am going to start with my name on the back of that big one. I'm going to put my name on the back of this small white one. And then I'm going to put my name somewhere on the outside of my hat or bow tie. So my name's on the back. I'm going to flip this over. And what we're going to do with this big sheet is use the dot stampers. And we are just going to dot stamp all over this big sheet with all the different colors. So I'm not going to stamp this whole video, but you can see my finished piece of paper has dot stamps top to bottom, side to side, everywhere. I am then going to switch and I am going to color this white sheet. So my name's on the back. I'm going to color on that flat white side. And I'm actually going to put it on top of my hat and bow tie so my um, messy marker mess doesn't get on the table. It's just going to get on the back of that bow tie. What I have to do on this sheet is I have to make a pattern of stripes. So I'm going to start with just two colors all over this paper. See how my mess is getting on that back of that bow tie paper? I'm going to make a pattern of orange and purple. And I'm going to continue this whole paper. Orange, purple, orange, purple. So it's going to look something like this when I'm done. So I have a polka dot pattern. I have a stripe pattern. My last patterns I'm going to make are going to be on my hat and my bow tie. And I can make any kind of pattern. So maybe I'm going to have diagonal lines. That's starting a pattern. And I am actually coloring outside the lines on this one because we are going to cut these out next time. Maybe between those stripes I have some big yellow dots. Maybe I have some orange circles around them. So you can be super creative and make this pattern however you'd like. You can even color the top part of the hat. And again, I am coloring outside the lines because I know I'm going to cut this out. I've got to be careful in these spots that I do my best coloring. And then on the bow tie, I'm going to make another pattern. So you're making four patterns today. Polka dots, stripes, and then however you would like to color a pattern on the bow tie and the hat. While you are working on that, I am going to call you over to the counter where I am at. And I know this is not a picture of me, but we're going to do a little painting on our pictures. We're going to make some white clown mouths on ourselves. So with white paint, we're going to make a big oval around our lips. And we're going to fill it in so it's nice and white. This is going to dry, so next time we can do a little more drawing on it. The second thing I'm going to do on my picture is I'm going to give myself some colorful eyebrows. Your eyebrows can be any color I have out at the store counter. And I'm just kind of painting what looks like a little rounded line uh, right on top of my eyebrows. Mrs. Cleary will put this in the drying rack. And then if you still have some patterns to make at your table, you'll get to do that on the first day. On day two of our clown project, you will need to finish up making your patterns if you didn't finish the first day. Then you're going to cut things out. So cutting out your hat and your bow tie as nice as you can around that top part of the hat. There's little pieces out. On this straight pattern, this is going to become the shirt. So I have already rounded off those corners of the shirt just on one side. You can see I still have corners on the bottom. The top two corners I rounded off. So remember, if you need help, you can cut that triangle off and then cut those little parts that are still there to round off the corner. You are also going to get your picture back. My picture is not quite dry because I made this video right away, but I am going to cut around the head of Tatum here. So if, girls, you have your hair up and boys, you will have your hair shorter, you're going to try to want to cut around your ear. If you have long earrings on, they might get cut off. And this is the tricky part. I'm going to follow the chin around. So I actually cut the neck right off. I'm going to slide that out of the way. 
and I am going to glue the shirt first. So we're going to have our polka dot papers really tall. I'm going to flip the shirt over and I'm going to glue all over the back of the shirt. The rounded corners go up. I know it's hard to see all this on the video because it's so tall. So I'm lining that up right against the bottom. I have some space on both sides. The next part is going to be gluing on the head. So we want to glue the head so that our chin kind of touches or goes right on top of the shoulders. Next part I'm going to make is the hat. I'm going to glue the hat up at the top. Yours should be pretty close to still staying on the paper. If it pops up the top of the paper a little bit, that's okay. I'm going to glue on that bow tie. The bow tie is going to go right below the chin. And if it touches the chin a little bit, that's okay too. Your last step, and your paint will be dry. Mine's not super dry. But I am going to outline around that white circle to really make it look like a clown mouth. And then you will be able to put maybe like a smile line right on top of your lips. And again, your paint's going to be drier than mine is. My paint is still kind of wet. Your last step is to find Mrs. Cleary. She'll be at the long counter by the closet. And you're going to put your project by the fluffy basket grass. So this is the stuff you'd probably find in an Easter basket or in maybe a gift. You're going to put your project next to the color you want for hair. Mrs. Cleary is going to be busy taking a little bit of hair and sticking it on both sides. And she'll kind of tuck it under the hat to make it look like clown hair. So you're just putting your project by the color you want because there might be a long line. Everybody's going to want their clown hair. When it is all put together, Mrs. Cleary will put it in the drying rack for you. Check out that pattern clown. You might notice the missing part, the nose, but right before the circus, teachers are going to poke a balloon into that part for your nose, so your balloon nose is going to be popping out.